tell me then about how you came first came to use the library. I first met Victoria when she was doing ward rounds on intensive care and high dependency and having learnt about what work she was doing then um, I started using her services really to help first of all probably for individual patients looking at specific sort of detailed inquiries just to get some more evidence for treatment options and then I was writing guidelines for intensive care and through that Victoria did some searching for me um, which I was then able to incorporate into some of the guidelines and um, more recently I've done some um, use some of Victoria's searches to help me with uh, we did one individual funding request for a patient which had to go to NHS England which had to be supported with evidence for that um, particular case and it was a very unique situation where there was really very limited information available so they did a fantastic search for me looking at all of the evidence base and I was able to incorporate that into the funding request which subsequently got approved which was fantastic. Right. So I'm right in thinking you've never, you didn't really have to step foot inside the actual library during this process, did you? No, I've never actually met Victoria in the library at all. I have either asked her on the ward, or since she's not been on the ward as much, then um, I've either emailed or I've phoned her, and I've been able to just put all of the information into the email request, and they've kept me updated how long it'll take them to get back to me, and then given me the results by email, and then if I've needed further information, they've been able to find that for me. Tell me a bit about the service that they've provided for you in terms of how how it's helped you kind of get on with your day job without having to necessarily wait. Oh, it's been absolutely yourself. fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm based working on critical care and I'll be busy on the ward looking after patients there, being involved in the ward around there, and it's very difficult to then find time to come away and sit and do a, an evidence sort of full full search, added to which, because of Victoria's training, she's able to do a much more systematic approach to doing a search than I'm able to do. Um, so it completely frees up my time to be able to stay on the ward and looking after the patients, rather than coming back and trying to, to look everything up. Okay, great. What about the sort of the breadth of information you the guys at the library in Victoria managed to sort of find for you. I mean, did that sort of surprise you, or was it was that the kind of thing you would look for yourself, or did they bring sort of anything new to the table that you wouldn't maybe have thought of yourself? I think sometimes they've they've used things that I wouldn't have always thought of. I mean, generally because most of my questions have been quite specific, I've asked them exactly where I want them to be looking and what sort of types of search and what sort of year range or whatever for the, for the evidence that I'm needing. So most of the time it's been specific to the question I've asked and then they've just given me exactly what I've needed and actually sometimes vast amounts of information um, which I've then you know, been able to look through and pick out the most useful bits. But there's been all sorts of, of information they've used from doing sort of evidence searches to looking at guidelines used across the country to sort of individual um, patient cases. So lots of different things. Okay, great. So finally then, obviously we all think of the library as kind of this space with loads of books and stuff. So it might not be the thing that a lot of people working in clinical areas will immediately sort of think of. What would you say to somebody working in a clinical area that just needs that bit of extra evidence and that bit of extra help about our, our service here? It's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It saves me a huge amount of time. It's very easy to access. They're very efficient because it's through email. You know exactly when they're going to get back to you. You've then got the information all saved electronically, which is very easy. Then if you are incorporating it into guidelines or into funding requests, it's been incredibly easy to then use that information and and saved a huge amount of time and I've learned a lot through um, through the information they've given me. Fabulous service. <laughs>